ZBrush has a new plugin. So if you go to Z plugins, you'll see Polygroup it. It's a really cool uh, add-on that allows you to create polygroups based off topology. So here you see a really rough boot that I just sketched out. As you click different points, you can in adjust the strength. So the more power, the more uh, topology will cover. And then as you click around, you can start to add more points and you can adjust on the fly like this. You have a shrink or a grow to kind of make, give you some more power over the polygroups. That's kind of cool. Let's think masks. Uh, you also have clear, it'll just clear all the points or you can delete individual points with that. And so really simple setup. There's not a whole lot. There is some symmetry if you really want to do um, that as well. So if you go ahead and click like X symmetry and apply that, it'll apply it across the model. And you have Y symmetry and Z symmetry as well to give you more functionality. You can move the points around and but basically the workflow I've used uses almost none of that stuff. I just click the few different places I want, adjust the map's power to what I want, and then I just hit extend. That's it. And then I get the polygroups more or less. If I see something I don't like, I can just click and kind of start to add and it updates on the fly like that. Now I'm going to use this a little bit in my workflow. Um, this part of polygroup it, but there's a more powerful part of polygroup it. Before I show you that, let me go ahead and show you some of the limitations. So here I have a hyena and let's try and use polygroup it on it. Now, as I click polygroup it, you'll see that I don't really have access to finally control what I want. So if I just want that ear, it's not going to happen with polygroup it. Um, you, you can see without the fine, very clear details, it's not going to do this. So what I can do instead is you have these two different options that use polypaint. Now, not polypaint in the sense of, you know, it's going to look at the different colors, but rather it's going to look at anything that is perfectly black as a border. So I'm going to go ahead and just turn on, let's try this damn standard brush. That's ah, too small. Uh, let's go ahead and just open up a standard brush. There we go. Uh, you'll notice that I have Sculptures Pro on as well to add detail. I'm just going to go around this eye here, create a polygroup there, create a polygroup around this ear, and anything that is bordered in black will become a new polygroup. And it's really cool because it takes, it, it doesn't make the black a polygroup, it takes everything outside of the black and goes halfway in, and everything inside the black and goes halfway out to make the new polygroups. Or there's also an option that will take the black and create a polygroup itself. So I'll show you that as well. Now let's go ahead and put a little uh, heart right there on the thigh for my kids. My little pony fans there. All right, so let's go ahead and click this one. And it will just look at these. And like I said, it's going to be creating these different polygroups. So let's do that. And I'll tell you that it's loading for a little bit. It's not long. It's really fast. Now, if I look here, it's hard to see because I have the black paint kind of covering it, but you can see the nose is polygrouped, those eyes are polygrouped out. Um, and like I was talking about before, you can see it goes halfway into the black, halfway out of the black. Uh, so you can see those different masks. Now, the other option, if I go to just the border, it'll actually create polygroups out of these black things as well. So let's click that, waiting for polygroups to finish, and that should work. So let me go ahead and go in. It's hard again to see, but you can right there see the black actually got its own polygroup. And so you can use that for a lot of things. Um, not going to be using this feature that much in my workflow. I do use polygroups to good effect, but for the most part, I kind of make the polygroups as I go purposefully. And so I don't really need this, but this will come in handy in a pinch if I need just quick, you know, if I want to use make clothes or belts or something like this, I might be able to use this. If I want to try and uh, extend out some geometry, there's some things I can use it for. So let me know what you're going to use it for. And I, I'd love to see in the comments. And again, it's not, it, it's a cool feature, just not going to be using it a lot. As always, thank you so much. Subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. Follow us on Twitter. Let us know what's going on. Uh, communicate with us. We love, we love talking to you guys and show us any cool work that you do. Have a great day and thanks for watching this video.